Yo, what up world? Back with another one. Wow, today, come on, just look at it. You already know the way I'm feeling. Like, it came together in the video. You guys got that cook bang a little bit. We're gonna have a little talk, a little muck. You know, we're just gonna enjoy this insane, crazy good food. Now, I know I'm late to the trend. I'm on the hot Cheetos now. Look at me, I'm being trendy, I'm hopping on. I feel like Wendy's eating show. Also, is she still around? Shout out Wendy's Eating Show. She was the OG originator of the Hot Cheeto movement. And that's what sprang her up to like a million, or I don't know, 850. She's got to be at a million by now, like real quick. So Wendy's Eating Show, hope you all right. But uh, on that note, yeah, you guys ought to come together. I just want to get to it. I'm excited as shit for this. I just want to keep the vibes real light, real easy. I really want to enjoy the food. I kind of want to comment on it and review it because I just feel like I never had it. So I went really with the spicy theme I, and the pickled the pickled theme too. I got pickled things on everything. So let's get right to it. Before we do it, I got the cheese sauce, as you saw. But I added some bacon bits to that. So be about that. That's for spooning on. And then extra sour cream. Just because I feel like sour cream is going to keep things cooled down that's why we got the ranch and the sour cream okay anyways uh, let's uh, get uh, to eat then so first things first where we're gonna go i'm gonna go with the cheese cheesy boy so we'll give you a look at each up close and percy you know how i like to do that i'm looking all cheese sauce too Kloss and pickles the chicken hot cheeto chicken i should say and uh, garlic bread. I suppose what we should do is this for the first initial bite. Let's just make it ridiculous. Yeah, let it slop, let it drip. Let it do its thing thing. And here we go. Uh oh cross contamination so that predominantly tasted like cheese sauce as you would imagine a look inside i want to just take like a normal bite just to see Okay, all right. Still not unsure. I'm not really, I'm still pretty cheesy dominant. Next bite should tell me some more things. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, that crunch. So that pickle, and I'm getting the garlic bread. The flaming hot aspect, though, not so flaming hot. Okay, in that bite, I got more of the Cheetos. Mmm. Super good. I gotta say, the Cheeto dust fries up nice. Mm-mm, very, very good. These buns, by the way, I shit you not my, where I'm at now, in uh, my home city. Undebatable, we got some of the best bakeries ever. These buns, 
are. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Holy Spirit. Because they're just too much. Too good. Too soft, too tender. Too fluffy. Okay, next up. Second runner-up. Actually, I'll rate them at the end to say which one was the best. Look at that. Slide by, drive by. This one is the Ranch Valentina and uh, Pepperoncinis. So I'm going with the spicy pickle theme. You guys know I love ranch. And so we go into the hidden valley and the shadow of death. Let me bring it close for that drizz. I, I need extra. I pop these back in the oven once they're finished. You, YouTuber food food tuber problems. By the time you get to it, it's kind of cold. So I popped it all back in the oven, let it heat back up. And when you do that, the sausage kind of dry up. So I should get it. See, that's working on a level because like a buffalo chicken sandwich like you have the heat of the flame of hot cheetos and you could you usually would like maybe ranch a buffalo chicken sandwich right so it kind of pairs up nice like it just it works Plus with the kick of the Valentino and these pepper genius. It goes hard. I gotta add another Another, da another dab of ranch. It's not a rap song, dab of ranch. Oh man, I gotta get a new bottle. You know I'm saying around here in, in, in my ranch life, these bottles go quick. The garlic bread aspect of it was a random twist. I don't know why I even thought to do it. I just thought it would up the level. And it did, it works. It's good. It's certainly delicious. Well, maybe that one was, I don't know, maybe I did that backwards. Maybe that was the sour cream one. And this is the ranch, okay, well. Screwed that one up, I guess, but whatever. Still, regardless, very, very good. I'll oh, sour cream this one instead. Or as well. Should we just double up on Should we just load this guy, triple it? Why not? You know what I mean? I didn't come this far just to play it safe. We're not playing it safe. That's crave worthy. If that's not crave worthy, I don't know what is. So I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, eating eating three of series. I feel like I've just been eating three of everything lately. I kind of like it though. I 
It's like two is not enough. It's too sufficient in a normal world, but this is the mukbang world we're talking about. So we must have a little bit of excess, at least people who respect hunger in the planet, like myself. All these other mukbangers that have like 20 meals in front of them, they eat like four bites and then they're like, eh, thanks for fucking 500,000 views. And then they throw it out. That's being a, a, a virus. I eat the food and I keep it within a gluttonous reason. Like, I know this is too much. I know this is a terrible amount of shitty food. I get it. 100p, I'm right there with you. Um, but, you know, I don't go overboard. Four is too many. Two is not quite enough. Three feels like the perfect amount. This one's fire with all the fixings. Mmm. It's probably evident that I'm starving in this one because I'm just crushing these. They're also just that good. Not too difficult to make. A little bit of cleanup though. There's quite a bit of cleanup. Oil, pan, bowls. So it's not exactly ideal in terms of cleanup. But the actual making of the food, lemon squeezy. Those faking bits though. And that fake sodium flare. I'm loving the sour cream vibe too. Forgot my cloth in the video, that hot dog video the other day. Pissed me off so much. Sometimes you start shooting a video and you're just too deep. And you just say, screw it. I gotta do what I gotta do. Mm. That was crazy good. Crazy good. You don't even know. That was like sandwich truck shit. Men like menu, making the menu type shit. Sandwich shop vibes, like, for real. That's uh, something to consider. For future endeavors. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. Oh, my review. What was the best one? Uh, I want to say the last one, in a sense, just with all the loaded. I feel like that one kind of, like, tasted the craziest. But I don't know. There's a certain level of simplicity with the Pepincini Ranch one. I kind of like it a little more simple, but that last one was bomb, too. Anyways. You know what to do. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.